Ladies and Gentlemen, hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen React mit Sebastian, Christian und mir, dem Peter. Schön, dass ihr eingeschaltet habt. Wir schauen uns heute an eines der meist gewünschten oder am meisten hochgevoteten Wünsche auf von der Pizmeet.de, nämlich What Happens When You Unleash a Psychopath on Sons of the Forest oh, mit ja. über 54 Daumen hoch. Sehr beliebter Vorschlag. An der Stelle nochmal zur Erinnerung, auf das jahresbest of werden wir erst, keine Ahnung, irgendwann zum Jahreswechsel in Jahren reagieren. Das wird noch lange dauern. Da machen wir einen schönen Abstand in zwischen. Jahren. Ja, da vielleicht auch erst in zwei. Zu ja, Silvester. Das ist das wie anderthalb wir Stunden oder warm. so, oder? Ja, wir halten uns das warm. Ja, es gibt noch ein paar Jahresbestoffs, halt glaube ich, auf die wir noch nicht reagiert lang. haben. Das wird immer ein, ein Jahreswechsel-Special ja, sein. Das Problem an so anderthalb, an, an so lustigen Videos, die über eine Stunde gehen, irgendwann ist halt so ein bisschen die Luft raus. Also ja, werden wir dann vielleicht auch in äh, zwei Teilen oder so machen. Gucken wir mal. Heute schauen wir uns auf jeden Fall an. Let's game it out. Josh, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing Sons of the Forest, and something tells me we're gonna have ja, a lot of Kevin. fun today. I don't know what it is. Something about it just makes me have that feeling. What? Oh, and also this video is sponsored by Opera GX. But more on that in a little hey, bit. For now, it's time for new game. Now there is a story new to this game. game, but I'm gonna give you the quick version. We're some kind of private security. Me and old Fisheye and Kelvin over there. Creepy, creepy Kelvin. <laughs> hey, what are you guys looking at? Oh, wait a minute. You're not looking at the case files. You're looking at Opera GX, the first browser for games. <laughs> What's that? You don't know about the browser for gamers? Also, well, ich spiele spiel ein bisschen vor. Opera GX kennen wir alle, haben wir auch schon ja, sehr viel gemacht. Something on your own that'll quickly become your favorite. So if this sounds good to you, there's a linky in the description to download right now for free. And thanks again Hab to Opera schon. GX for sponsoring. Anyway, where are we? Oh, about to crash. That's what. Oop, there goes Fisheye. Kelvin, hang in there. You're gonna be fine. I got you. No, I don't. Well, I'm sure that we'll be okay. We're only sinking to the bottom of the ocean. You're right, Kelvin. I should get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good news. We made it. As did our knapsack in this emergency pouch thing. Here we are in what I believe is our randomized starting location. We've got a couple of... Die sieht exakt aus wie unsere starting location. Es gibt zwei, uh, ran es gibt zwei also Start locations und die sind halt random. Okay. Ja, ja, genau. Also... <laughs> Zwischen den also, beiden wird dann gewürfelt. Deshalb können Sie wahrscheinlich sagen, random start location, ja, okay. weil zwischen zwei ist das random. Okay. Things here, including things we can pick up like rocks. We can also open up these things to discover what's inside, like blue paper tape. Give me those. Oh, and we also have this guy crying out in misery and pain. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's Kelvin. And we could hold E to pick him up, but I think instead we're just gonna leave him there for now. After all, look at all this gear we gotta collect. Let's see. Let's just ooh, a space tarp. I'm sure you'll come in handy. And after we go ahead and pop all of these and take their contents, everything from bullets to grenades, grenades. I mean, this isn't gonna work, is it? Well, only one way to find out. Oh, <laughs> oh. I think it's all to it. I mean, I guess it does work. You know, maybe we won't do that. Don't worry, though. We're still just gonna let him writhe around on the ground for a while. Anyway, back to collecting all of these things. I'm glad that these totes are organized the same way I would do it. Full of desk lamps and calculators and... <laughs> is that a xylophone? What a treasure <laughs> trove. <laughs> and some flares. Hey, Kelvin, is this gonna help you out? Not at all, but it sure was funny. Oh, actually, you know what? Your emergency condition reminded me of something. First off, this is our inventory. And this right here is our emergency pouch, which contains some nice emergency goodies. Ooh, like this axe. Axe here. Oh, and how uh -oh. tempting this is. But that's not what an axe is for. We're supposed to be using the axe for this. Genau den Mo habe ich auch gesehen. Glorious <laughs> tree cutting. Well, isn't that both easy and fun? I love any game that lets you assert your dominance over nature. Although I sure hope <laughs> Kelvin is okay. Oh. Oh yeah, he's fine. And also, hey Kelvin, what's all this stuff over here? Are these other friends of ours? I'm gonna go with no. I think they're just hanging around instead. That's okay though. There's a whole world out here for us to explore. Anyway, back over here with Kelvin. I think we want to do our part to make sure he stays safe. And that involves using the game's <laughs> comprehensive building system. So we'll just put a log here. And then we'll put one here. Okay. And here. And <laughs> one more right there. Okay, Is it's that... a solid start. Jay, we're looking at a wreck. Will you dazu stoßen? Oh, äh, ich wollte ja, kurz. Jay, wir gucken gerade Let's Game It Out. Ich wollte kurz Pipi machen. Äh, er guckt das eben einfach. Dann alles gut. And now rinse and repeat. Again and again. Okay, this looks pretty good. We took Kelvin and we encased him in his own little wooden tomb. Meanwhile, over here in inventory. Ja, gut, land, der der, der sträubt sich ja jeder auf den Boden. Also, ob du den jetzt einbaust oder nicht, ist ja egal. Ja, aber dann, <lacht> wenn die anfallenden Viecher kommen, die Eingeborenen, können die nicht snacken. 
Ja, ist jetzt sicher. Ja. Selbst a fancy lighter. Uh oh. Der macht so gar nichts, ne? Well, that's not the kind of lighter I was expecting. Can we use it to set these logs aflame? Does not appear to be the case. Mm. Well, that's okay. I've got a backup plan for this, which of course is gonna use more logs. One of the building things we can do is drive stuff into the ground. Here, watch, like this. Ta-da! And then after that, we can put down another piece. Look at that, we've made a log ramp. Yeah. All we have to do is walk up on this, hop over, and we can happily see that our guy is still suffering. <laughs> But the fun doesn't stop here. We can use these logs for oh so many things. For example, you can put two like this and space it out, and then put a cross beam in the middle, add another Hi. beam down like that, and now look at that! That arrow is clapping for us! What does it mean? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Ta-da! And then with just a couple more logs, we can turn all this abstractness into a ramp. Wow, what a deal! And then we can walk right up here, and there's even more fun to be had. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't worry, he's fine. What I'm worried about, though, is that log barely made it in. So instead of risking them not going in like that one, we're gonna actually split these things up into bite-sized little pieces. What an absolutely versatile system. And now that they're smaller, look how easily they go in. There's plenty of room for extra logs. I wonder if we can just throw these from here. Hey, Kelvin, heads up. <laughs> Thanks, I thought it was a good shot too. Yeah, that seems pretty good, doesn't it? And the best part about this is because of the way this build system works, we can make a little window to check in on him. What's with all the crying? I'm helping you out. Hello? Oh good, you're still in there. I'm here to finally pick you up. Yep, there we go. <laughs> How are you doing, Ach, buddy? Kacke. Hey, wake up. I need you to pay attention through all the clipping walls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Now you can't see it because of all the logs. But we're basically making sure that he's awake. All right, Kelvin, ready to get out of here? Are you serious? <laughs> you wanna play peekaboo? Oh, what a jokester you are. Okay, so here's Kelvin's deal for real. He can't hear anymore, and for whatever reason, he doesn't talk. But he sure can smile. Yeah, that's a good Kelvin. Anyway, the way we get him to do stuff is we go between various orders, like follow me, or get certain kinds of items, and so on and so forth. You ready to go on an adventure, Kelvin? Yeah, you are. You know he's excited because his eyes rolled back in his head. Okay, let's leave all this behind and go into the forest. Kelvin, you still with me? Yeah. Now, before we get too deep into our journey of going through the forest. Let's take a look at some of our wild tools we have here. Like other people's random meds. In real life, I wouldn't <laughs> recommend doing this. But hey, in the forest, apparently this is perfectly normal. And we'll wash it down with this nice energy drink. Bottoms up. Ah, littering. I love it. Anyway, the thing that matters the most to us right now, besides all this shade blocking my inventory, thank God we have these handy dandy controls. Ah, yeah, that's much better. Anyway, the thing we care about is this right here, the GPS tracker, which is oh so helpful to our journey. See, there's us, and that K is Kelvin. Look how mobile he is now, and not at all sinister, before he saunters <laughs> off into the woods. <laughs> anyway, there's a bunch of things we can learn from this, like there's the crashed helicopter. And wait a minute, what is this? Is this a cave? Hey, Kelvin, you just stay there in the bushes, okay? I want to check out what that cave was. Let's see, if I were a cave, where would I be? Well, this looks promising, <laughs> especially with these toilet out front. I mean, utility buckets. And more importantly, a human skull. Yeah! I'm glad you can not only palm it, but you can use it to try to scare people. <laughs> like, for example, hey, Calvin. Oh, hello. Hey, Calvin, what do you think of this? Oogity boogity. <laughs> yeah, he's impressed. Anyway, let's see about getting into this hole. Like unfortunately, we can't skull our way in, so I guess it's axe o'clock. Okay, let's go. Yep, this is a cave, all right. I don't know why, but Kelvin won't follow me in here. That's fine, more stuff for me. And more importantly, it's really, really hard to see. Okay, we have some bats and more creepy caves. Not to mention whatever this is down here. After all, what can possibly go wrong? You know, like with all these bones mm -hmm. on the ground. Ow, what hit me? You know, never mind. I think I'm good not knowing. Look, I'm sure it's fine. I'm just gonna keep on going and hope it doesn't follow me. Oh, hello. Uh, pardon me and excuse you. And before you know it, we're coming to something much cooler. Like whatever this is. Ooh, a stun gun. Say no more. And not just that, but it looks like we have an extra clothing option too. Anyway, it looks like that might be all that's around. I mean, except for this. But we don't really get to see what's happening over there quite yet. And I'm sure it's fine. Creepy things okay, moving in the distance. No big deal. <laughs> Da kann ich mich nicht dran erinnern. Das sieht man vorher. Also das große Vieh kommt. hast du mal gesehen, haben wir ja gesehen, ähm, logischerweise, aber ja. da. Vielleicht wird das reingepatcht, dieses äh, Vorzeichen. Storymäßige, dass man sieht, warum so das da sich Konnten wir gar nicht sehen. Anyway, let's rush back to Kelvin with our new toy. Uh, yeah, pardon me, please. See, look at that, we're already back outside. Kelvin, Kelvin, Kelvin yeah. are you still here? Oh my god, there you are, Kelvin. I thought I'd lost you. Think fast. 
Ah, uh, <laughs> it feels so good, doesn't it? For us, I mean. Hey, that was pretty fun, right? Would you like another one? <laughs> oh, that Kelvin, what a kidder. Hey, Kelvin, I'm sorry about that. No hard feelings, okay? Here, how about this? I have an item for you. Here, have this nice leather jacket that I just found. That's coming. Oh, oh, I see. You've never looked cooler. That's now I'm not going to feel bad when I shoot you with this thing. <laughs> anyway, let us proceed. Oh, yep. This looks promising. Oh, oh boy, we have yeah, a stimmt. dig site. And I know that because as I get close, it shows me a shovel icon. And I definitely don't have one of those. Uh, but you know, it does look like the sun is going down. And we're going to need a place to sleep. So what could be better than right here? Now, let's not get too fancy. Eh? We're just going to lay out a nice tarp right on top of this. There, it's ready. And now we'll just prop it up with a handy dandy stick i'm ready to sleep on what might be someone's grave if we're lucky well good night ah and just like that a brand new day a whole day ahead of us to oh kelvin i want you to be honest with me did you watch me sleep all night <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, and for once, I'm not going to give you the breakfast of champions. Now, we could just leave all this stuff behind, but I feel like we got to secure this job site first. What happens if somebody smarter than Kelvin comes across it? We can't have them digging up this treasure or body or whatever is down here. Kelvin, I need you to get me some logs and put them right here. Hop to it. That's a good Kelvin. You stand here and do all the work, and I'll just watch you. Yes, yes. It feels so good to watch someone else do everything. <laughs> and to make things worse, I'm going to throw rocks at him while he does it. <laughs> nice work. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, Kelvin, come back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh, okay. He's fine. I'm glad he's unperturbed by the fact he's now bleeding from his head. He understands that there's vital work to be done. Don't worry, though. I'm doing my part. Hey, Kelvin, think fast. Okay, this seems like a pretty good pile. While he's doing all that work, let's go ahead and get started on this. While the plan is indeed to build something on top of this space, I have to admit, I have an ulterior motive here. We haven't really had a chance to test out what this building system can do, and I, for one, would like to see just how high up we can build. So, Ach, du Scheiße. Hold, Please. Ich habe eingesehen, der Aufzug gebaut hat. Okay. I did a lot of building. Like a lot and a lot and a What? lot. I decided that we needed to see above the tree line and this seemed like the easiest way to do Alles it. Even though cool. building so something of this magnitude took a that when he den Schlitten um, macht und aus dieser Höhe eine Rampe auch runterbauen das würde, könnte man einen mega Sprung kannst. machen. Yo, das wäre ziemlich Vielleicht cool. Vielleicht kommt er ja noch. Vielleicht kommt er really, really. God, I had the help of what's his face. Isn't that right? Oh. Oh. He's fine. He's just resting. <laughs> anyway, so how's about I give you the grand <laughs> tour? And by that, I mean it's a bunch Alter. of logs and wooden ramps spanning a glorious 33 floors. Yes. And once we make it to the top, you can see that it's not uh, it's not quite finished here. But I figured that was okay. It gives it that kind of always in development look. Plus, we always get a chance to look down at our handiwork. And there's all the wood <laughs> we chopped, <laughs> which is not <laughs> nearly as much as you'd think it would be. But what a view. We can see all these trees and the ocean and that uh -oh. beautiful river right there not to mention that beach over that direction and such a stunning view of this mountain and of course i wanted to build that high but it turns out building something like this takes a while because don't forget you can only carry two logs at a time which means that every time i want to grab my two logs and take them all the way up there i have to take the stairs like everybody else and rushing up these ramps isn't really that big of a deal but just going up this all the way to the top took a solid 30 seconds and then i add my two logs and then i have to do it all <laughs> over again and each one of these floors once you count up all the logs plus the pieces that were used to make the ramp is about 40 logs a floor that means i have to do 20 trips a floor it's a lot of running back and forth it took a whole lot longer of course because i had to keep telling kelvin what to do You might also be wondering, so why smart. are my hands covered in blood? Well, I'll tell you. It turns out you can throw logs into the air and then catch them with your face. You absolutely extraordinary results. I also want to see if I can convince Kelvin to come up to the top with me. Yep, stare at my crotch for some uh -oh. reason and nod. Okay, so far so good. He can navigate the stairs, kinda. Okay, buddy, let's go. Come on up. <laughs> Sorry these ramps are so hard on you. So something tells me he's not going to be able to find his way up here. Well, what good are you then? Anyway, if he's going to be like that let's see if we can bring the fun to him besides he's fine so here's one cool thing we can do if we bring out our axe now covered in kelvin's blood you can actually <laughs> shall we say customize some things and normally oh. you would use this for if you wanted to like make windows in a structure where there previously wasn't one now you can do uh -huh. that look how nice that looks and you can also use that option for if you put a log in the ground like so and you decide you don't want it quite that tall you can go up to it and chop it down to whatever customization level that you want isn't that something the possibility 
possibilities are endless. Although I have to admit, I'm not sure what happens when you cut down a structure here. Oh, when God. it's kind of a load-bearing structure oh, for a long <laughs> Well, I guess only one way to find out. Here we go. Ach, oh, oh, I see. It uh -huh. appears to have self-corrected. Oh my god, and every single floor is sloping now. Wait, can <laughs> what? I just do this all over the place? I sure can, and thus I sure will. Oh, now that's too easy. Hey? We gotta fix that. We'll just take it down yet another notch. There we go. What the there fuck? There we go. Oh, that's looking exceptional now. Well, Kelvin seems unperturbed, despite the fact that right behind him, all of the ramps are, um, taking on interesting <laughs> characteristics now. Okay, well, now we have to keep going. Anywhere yeah, that lets us said. chop needs to be chopped. And turn the entire thing into a weird work of art. I just can't believe it lets us do this over and over and over. And it's not like every single one. Like, there's some that just don't let you do it, but a lot of them you can. So really, why wouldn't we accept all offers? Oh yeah, look at all the good we've done in here. Calvin, I'm glad you're still standing there. And even <laughs> past him, it gets even worse. Oh my god, this is fantastic. And also, <laughs> despite cool. how horrible it yeah, looks, yo. you can still navigate it, which is That's good because good, there's a ton eh. more beams we need to cut down. And really, if these ramps are getting too hard to climb up, no problem, we'll just customize the layout until everything fits better. And don't worry, everything <laughs> is still totally navigatable. I mean, kinda. It does get a little weird at parts, but everything's still functionally there and totally gets the job done. And by gets the job yeah. done, I mean it gets us closer to pillars that we can chop to make things worse. See, this is the architecture I'm in it for. You know, it's Holy weird, shit, but for some time. reason this is getting harder and harder to climb. <laughs> Couldn't say why for sure, but I'm sure it's nothing I did. But you know, all things considered, <laughs> still pretty stable. I mean, kinda. Stable by our standards. And also, if there's structures in the way, you can just pull them out and get them out of there. I like how some of it isn't even connecting anymore. Okay, finally made it to the top, and it sure is looking very normal. Very us. Just remember, it used to look like this, and now it looks like this. What a lovely sight this all is. And at this point, it's kind of like, I'm not really sure how to get down without hurting myself. But let's step back for a second, and I'll show you something I found along the way. As I was wandering around at some point, I came across this beautiful stream. Let's even stop for a drink of water. Mmm, I'm sure that's plenty safe, just like whoever was riding in this cart. Anyway, check out what's right past it. Yet another cave entrance, except this one takes us somewhere that's going to be very exciting for us, because as ah, you can see, it leads us into a facility of sorts. Yo. And in this place, we have all kinds of exciting goodies, because conveniently down here in this lab is a 3D printer. Look at all the fun things we can make. Arrows, a creepy mask, and also a sled. I think this is what we need in our lives right now. Well, so far, this looks like a sled all right wait a minute what is it like the first part of a sled Oh, nope, it's the whole sled. And I can also get in by jumping in the air and quickly getting inside. Because now we can have really fun sled adventures. Wee! Oh, which means now I have this convenient little sled. And I have an untested theory that maybe we can use it to get to the ground. Okay, are you ready? Here goes nothing. Me go. Now get in the sled. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, look at that. And a safe landing with all of my health. Well, that was fun. Time to <laughs> shove this back into my pocket. And now that we're back here all safe and sound, you know, safe and sound, just like how jacked up this looks, especially that mess right there. And I'll never get tired of seeing Kelvin's creepy silhouette just right there. Anyway, we're still not done yet because now I want it to have decorations. So we're going to take a little trip through the wilderness to gather some supplies. So there's a bunch of fun decorating we can do. We can make benches and tables, but that's not really what I'm interested in. I'm interested in this a skull lamp doesn't that look festive and even more <laughs> exciting is i think i know where to procure some hi fellas how would you like to contribute to the cause uh oh i think i made a bad call <laughs> something tells cause. me i need to be a little bit more cautious about how i go about this but surely even this guy is susceptible to enough rocks right only one way to find out uh-huh uh -huh. and i have to do it while <laughs> also dodging all these other people ow stop it oh there goes one and yes you could do I stuff like all... building spears in this game but why do that when you can just pelt people with Vast. rocks isn't that Right. Yeah. And uh, three. And four. Uh, and now all we need to do is deal it. with this tall drink of water. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I boring you? Get back here. I like that he's like, no, stop. Oh boy, this sure is taking a lot of rocks, isn't it? Uh, 45, 46, 67, 68, 84. Oh my god, that finally did it. Uh, Might have lost count at some point, but it only took hitting him 80 something times in the chest with rocks. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have the skull yet. So hold, please. 
<laughs> and there you have it. A nice relaxing pile of heads. Oh, but we're not done yet. There's a little matter of, um, well, you know where this is going. <laughs> hey, Kelvin, look what I found. Right. You know what? I totally forgot I already had a skull from earlier. Oh, well. I still expect you to act impressed, Kelvin. Anyway, now we can build our little skull lamp. See, we'll just take a stick and we'll just put it down like that. Then we'll add a little bit of cloth like that. And last but not least, the skull. Ah, Ooh. very nice. Well, let's make some more of them. I'm happy that it's so easy to make these. But as it turns out, there's kind of a downside to these, which is that they're easy easily knocked over. See, look at that. There they go. So instead, I'll take uh, these things over to my local water supply and just throw them in there. Finally, I'm wasting and polluting like a true American. At least they look uh -oh. nice and menacing, especially as it becomes nighttime. In fact, they're the only thing out here that we can see. Well, at least we know Kelvin's still here. Well, that sounds promising. Kelvin, look out. We've got some company. And this one's wearing a hoodie. Ow! Who could have yeah. predicted that they Is were going to retaliate? Oh my god, yeah. Kelvin, you're alive. We gotta get ich out of here right Baseball now. And by we, I mean... Ja, aber also mit einer Lampe um Kopf? Da gibt's so Angriffswellen, die dann halt deine Base angreifen. Ja, aber mit einer Lampe um Kopf? Ja, die hatten ja teilweise auch Rüstung und sowas. Und einer hat dann halt eine Lampe auf dem Kopf. Die haben wir ja die haben gesehen, Knochen weil wir die ja immer am Tag getroffen haben. Me. Enjoy. Bye. Thanks for your sacrifice. Okay, I think everything's all right. It's daytime now. And my goodness, how nice the tower looks. I wonder and kind of hope that Kelvin's dead. You know, sometimes you just want to bask in how good this looks. Look at all those crappy ramps. Okay, well, that was BS. We got to prepare this thing for next time. So I think I know where I want to begin with this, but I want to test something first. And for that, I need to figure out if Kelvin is still alive. Kelvin? 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 What the hell are you doing? Is this you <laughs> hiding? <laughs> Stop it. I need you. I'm just so glad he's here with me. I don't know what I would do without him. Okay, Kelvin, here's what I need from you. I would like you to stay right here. Can you do that? Good. Anyway, hold still. I want to test something with campfires. Uh-oh. Okay, I call that a successful test. And now for test number two, also known as any excuse to wail on Kelvin. Oh, <laughs> so it looks like if someone does hover over the fire long enough, then they do eventually catch on fire. I don't think it has to be right over the twigs and berries, but that was his choice. All right, well, let's <laughs> double the fun with more fires. Hold still. Now the downside is clearly this doesn't do that much damage or else I think Kelvin would be dead by now. Uh Oh, Kelvin, don't turn around. There's a bad guy near us. Never mind. Looks like it's a friend. Where did that thing go? <laughs> Dang it, it's run away. In the meantime, nice we need to prepare for the next test. And that means getting more logs. Okay. Now with these logs, we're going to build a little something out here. All we need to do is put another one right uh -huh. here next to the first one. And then in short order, this turns into this. A nice little tiny mini prison. Which hopefully will be enough to trap one of those guys when they come back. Now we just need to set the bait. No, not you, jackass. Oh, here we go. We've got a contender. I get stopping right there. You got to stretch your hammies and stuff first. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Stop that. I need to get you in the hole, not around the hole. Okay, come on. Come on, follow me in here. Just do me a favor and don't hit me right now, okay? Okay, that's not helping. That's not helping anybody. Well, the important what? part is are you catching on fire or not? You know what I probably need is more fires. Hold on. Yep, yep, watch yourself. Oh, see, there we go. It's not so <laughs> bad, right? Oh, hey, you know what? That does seem to work, at least for a little while. Seems like what we need to do is make a lot of fires. Like a lot of fires. Like Ach a lot, a lot of them. Yeah, this oh feels nein. pretty good. No big deal, just a nice little Ach circle of fire. <laughs> Thank goodness I was able to do all this stuff while this guy was occupied. That's the spirit. You're so big and strong. Hey, what's that behind me? Never mind. It looks like this is working. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's in here with me. Sarah, through the glitchy goodness, did you just throw a skeleton at me? You know, I feel like this isn't working as I hoped it would. He seems uninterested in this fire business. So, I take it back. There he goes. Ah, well, that was nice. Well, this seems like the ultimate problem solver, doesn't it? Let's go get some more willing participants for the ring of fire. Hey, fellas, can I interest you in, uh, uh, what in tarnation is happening here? I didn't realize there would be a whole new threat here. Are you okay? Well, you know what? It's all the same to me. Why don't you guys come with me anyway? Ah, look how good it looks from back here. What a perfect column of flames. <laughs> come on. Come on. Oh, looks like you see something you like. I hope it's this column of flames because that's what's about to happen. Don't worry about <laughs> all that glitchiness. It's good for you. Okay, they're definitely on fire. And see. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a great way to battle the elements. Well, this calls for a celebration. 
Oh, Kelvin, you're always ready to party. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It looks like I've upset oh, the natives. This might be a little too much for me to handle. Quickly, protect me, tower. They won't follow me up here, will they? Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I think I might have made some bad calls. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop hitting that. Uh-oh. Als wenn die den Turm kaputt hauen. Oh, oh, oh good. Well, now you jackasses have done it. Now I've got to build this whole thing all over again. I hope you're happy with yourselves. At least I've still got this. Unlike my tower, this thing will never leave me. I'm gonna go try to find a nice place to use my sled. Seeing as how this place appears to be slightly compromised. I want to thank Opera GX again for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out the browser for yourself, it's free. You can download it right now using my link in the description. <laughs> so I hope you had fun. I know I did. And still am. And I'll see you next time. Nein. Ja, war ganz cool, aber ich hoffe, der baut halt immer noch eine Rampe für den Schlitten. Das wäre ja. mega cool. <lacht> ich hab, ich, bei ihm wird's ja immer verrückter und verrückter und größer und größer. Ich habe jetzt ehrlicherweise was Verrückteres erwartet mhm. als das, wenn ich ganz ehrlich bin. Ich glaube, irgendwann ist halt auch, also du, du hast halt, wie er schon sagte, irgendwann so eine Limitierung, dadurch, dass du immer nur zwei Hölzer halt nehmen mhm. kannst, ist es halt echt anstrengend zu bauen, also ja, nee, verstehe ich. Oder Aber das, was er da machen, teilweise ja. in diesen anderen Games gebaut hat, war auch anstrengend ja. zu bauen und fucking ja, ja, crazy. Ja, 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 ja. Da war jetzt ein Turm, ja gut. Da war jetzt ein Turm. Ja, das heißt, das <lacht> Endbox-Modus, wo du halt einfach Geld unendlich hast und bauen kannst oder so. Ja, da musst du ja äh, die Sachen erstmal, die Bäume erstmal schlagen und. Das ist Dauert natürlich halt schon Und Kelvin ist leider wirklich nicht so eine große Hilfe. Bei jedem zweiten Baum sagt er so: Na, ne, jetzt mal Pause. Vor so allen Dingen neu. gab es nicht auch Videos, wo Kelvin dann anfängt, irgendwie entweder die Loks in dein Zuhause zu werfen oder die <lacht> zu nehmen. Ja, <lacht> richtig gut. Auch möglich. Smarter Typ einfach. Das war auf jeden Fall What Happens When You Unleash a Psychopath on Sons of the Forest von Let's Game It Out. Das wir der Original uns. natürlich verlinkt in der Beschreibung. Da gibt es auch noch andere Videos. Vielen lieben Dank, dass ihr es vorgeschlagen habt und äh, euch und uns dabei zugesehen habt, wie wir es schauen. Und jetzt euch noch einen wunderschönen Tag. Haut rein. Tschüss. Tschüss.